Hey guys, welcome back to Cossack Customs. Next one up, we're going electric. All right guys, so this is what it is. So you take your normal Bella scooter, they look like this. Okay, I only have a couple. This one right here, you remove all plastic seat, and this is what you're left with, okay? I ordered this kit, it's an electric kit, 48 volts, okay? Motor right here off Amazon. There's a controller right here, and then it actually has a key switch. You put a key in, and then it comes with new grips for the control. Now, this was kind of a pain in the butt to start with, and you will require welding. This sprocket right here, you can order that with the chain. Remember I told you about the chain for the pit bike? Same exact chain, same exact sprocket, direct fit, screwed right in. Do I need to weld anything? No. Why? Because the sprocket is on this side. It is not on the left side because this motor is on this side. So when I turn it, it still does the rotation without it, but if the motor pulls it, it's going to go. Now, this one actually has these, uh, you see these U here, to where if the chain's too tight or too loose, you just pull it and it tightens it up. Uh, I shortened the chain a lot because the chain was huge compared to. Now I took a metal plate, welded it one, two, three, and then four, right there. And then actually the bracket itself welded it to it. That actually works pretty good. Okay, right here it's got that T8F sprocket on it. T8F chain, and guess what you have to do? Line it up perfectly, okay? Line it up perfect, otherwise you're gonna get a wobble. Okay, so this works out pretty good. This goes straight back. The stock brake works great. You just have to move it back just a little bit, and then it actually works pretty good. If you guys wanna see, it stops, okay? Works out good. So motors here with the welds, everything looks good. I turned it on with like a 40 volt battery and it only worked for like two seconds and then it shuts off because it's not enough power to power the controller. Now, right here is your key switch. Okay, my key's on my, my actual workbench right now, but this is a key switch. I think I'm gonna mount it in the plastic like right here or something, I don't know yet. So I'm trying to figure this one out. Here's a controller, uh, it comes with it. This right here goes to the battery. Now it's 48 volt battery if you guys wanna go that far or you can put four 12 volt batteries together which is what i'm gonna do this right here goes to the actual uh motor itself and then to the actual key switch now here's something that's really cool guys army proof and what i mean by that is you can't mess it up why because everything is labeled look three speeds look at that brakes i mean it's literally a plug and play now you might not have some of these i don't indicator light that's like your brake light uh, the brake the brake switch I mentioned before, this one right here, the one that says brakes, what that does is, is if you have the brake on on your lever right here, it makes sure that you can't hit the gas at the same time. That's all it does. If you don't want it, don't even plug it in. Everything else is it's kind of a pain in the butt. looks like a wiring harness nightmare. Some of these are doubled up. Indicator light. This one should be brakes. Yeah, then there's like another one. This one right here, if you guys get close enough, indicator light. So... Uh, this one right here is your throttle, which obviously is plugged in. And these throttles come with this kit. Now, these things are pretty cool, guys. I mean, straight up, real good throttle. And then just a grip on this side. This is the stock brake that comes with it. And you just, like I said, works pretty good to stop that tire. <laughs> so this is what I have so far. Still kind of working out the kinks, trying to figure exactly what I'm going to do next. But this thing should haul butt. I'm thinking it's probably going to go, maybe not as fast as the pit bike, which is like 2022. Or maybe 2022. I don't know. I have no idea what it's going to do, but I'm going to figure it out once I get there. I have to figure out a way to mount the batteries. The original one had a battery plate that was like up here, and you can mount four batteries. I don't know if I want to do that. It's not really in a lot of room there, because once the seat goes on, it like hovers below. I'm thinking maybe put the batteries here, put a cover on it, and then mount, 
I don't know yet. I'm maybe two here facing vertically and then two here facing vertically, putting a plate on it and then maybe on this side extend it out a little bit with some welding with some because I have like a grate that you use for like garage shelving that I got for free and I might cut that up and put that over the batteries and they can put their feet on that or I'm going to weld on some pegs to where it's almost like the pit bike just put them all out and see if that works there too I don't know I'm going to kind of mess around with it and see what works best but I wanted to show you guys the initial setup as we're going to go through this together this will be one big video okay so once this this is another Cossack custom that I'm just building just I don't know because I feel like it uh, I got called the best dad because I do this kind of stuff because I don't get to ride it my fat ass can't fit on these things. So I'm doing this for them and I'm doing it just because uh, it's cool. It's fun. It's a hobby. So, all right, let's go to the next one and see what progress I've made. There's my little, there's my little projects right there. It's got the pit bike on the left and then the one I bought on the right. Uh, my daughter's friend's scooter right there. An empty one right there. Another crappy pink one right there. A couple of stand-ups. But check this out. This is it right here. So, these are Jerry Rig foot pegs welded onto the corner. Told you I'm not the best welder, don't judge. Uh, welded onto the corner. So, you use this one here. And then I took another piece of angle iron, as you can see, and welded it in here so the batteries have a tray. Because they sit right there and then they'll have a tray. So, and then a couple of zip ties here, zip ties here. It's a lot of wiring. Zip ties here. Now this plug, uh, I kind of jerry-rigged the plug too because the plug for the batteries on the other razor does not directly plug into this one. So I just got some of these yellow connectors, uh, female connectors, plug one into each, ran over here into this white plug, and then stuck some male connectors into this white plug. And those connectors are your positive and your negative for your battery. So the negative runs here right here and the positive runs woo, all the way over here that's what goes plugged into the battery or the actual plug over here now then you have to run them simultaneously so you run one here and then you grab a breaker 30 amp breaker right here just in case so if this pops it means you got too much power too much weight motor had too much stress okay and, and let me tell you this is 30 and it didn't pop with my fat ass on it so it's it holds up pretty good uh, heavy duty wiring here get those on there run it simultaneously again simultaneously right here okay and then once this one goes right into the ground of there that is what you call 12 volts 8 amp hours times 4 8 times 4 is 36 amp hours 48 volts that's what you got the 8 amp hour kind of wishy-washy, it's per battery, that doesn't mean it makes it exactly 36 amp, amp, eight, 36 amp hours, it just means that it's a lot, it will run a lot longer than it would be if it was just 24. Now we're going to roll up here to the motor, fully welded on with the plate welded in the back. This thing had so much torque, it popped. Like I just welded it in the front, thought it would be good, no, nope. had to weld back here. So I got to weld here and a weld on the other side. Welded it really well on this side and here to the actual plate. Now the tension in this is pretty good. As you can see, that's uh, some, not a lot of play. Cool thing is, remember I told you about the pit bike and how you can't adjust the chain? Well, guess what? You can on this one. And as you can see, I already have. All you have to do is pop these off. I think these are 14s on both sides. You pop them off and you can slide it up. It'll loosen the chain. Slide it back, it'll tighten the chain. It's a really, really simple process. And like I said, you guys remember when I told you on the pit bike, don't get that sprocket, get this one. This is that sprocket I told you to get. Direct fit, bolts right in with the stock factory bolts, and it's the actual T8F chain right here. And let me tell you, holy crap. And the reason why I wanted you to bolt it in and not weld it like I did with the pit bike is because you can still do this. Can't do that on the pit bike. You turn the wheel... The entire motor turns. It does it when it goes backwards, but if you go forward, you hit the gas, right? Let's say you hit the gas, and it just it's you, you the motor's turning the sprocket and the thing's going, and then you let go of the gas, the sprocket will stop eventually, but the wheel's gonna keep going. And that gives you a lot more coasting. 
The pit bike, not so much. You let off the gas, you're going to start slowing down because the engine is going to slow you down. Okay, so as we kind of head over here, stock drum brake, it kind of works. Uh, it's not the best, but it, it, yeah, it kind of works. I mean, it slows me down. It doesn't stop me. It doesn't even like skid the back tire because I'm so fat. As you can see, the welds in there, uh, just better wire made the welds a little bit better. It works. I'm not complaining. There's a weld underneath too as well. But the motor is super strong. Look at this. I'll leave a link in the description below. Voltage 48, 3,000 RPMs, and 1,000 watts. Now, if you're doing a 1,000 watt motor, you have to have a certain amount of volts. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So, for example, I have a weed eater. It's an electric weed eater. I've had it for a long time. It has a 40 volt battery. You guys have seen those ones that go in like power tools and things. Well, I plug the motor into that including the controller i hit the gas it spun the chain it stopped it didn't even have enough power to continue that's why you have to have these four batteries now the problem is a lot of people don't know where to mount these batteries i had the same problem i tried mounting them here not gonna work okay did not even work at all uh, so i did it like this that's why i welded that grate right on top of here it's actually from one of my friends gave me one of these but we have a lot of metal that we work with so um we just put, always put one of these grates on here. It worked out really well. Uh, it, it, it basically it protects the batteries if any feet on here. But the big thing is I got these foot pegs. Uh, gave a little burn like you guys have seen the exhaust so on the outside. Uh, inside I'm going to paint them. I just wanted to make sure that they actually work. They do. Uh, I'm going to have to re-weld this one because my fat ass pushed so hard that it started to bend. Uh, the kids I'm not so worried about. But if I can get if, – if this works for me, I ain't worried about the children. I can tell you that right now. So I'll paint it. Uh, a couple of zip ties to hold the, the actual throttle cable and the brake cable uh, up here. Um, there's the throttle. The brake's still wrapped around. I haven't plugged it in yet because I'm not really sure what I want to do. And what I'm trying to think about, guys, is this little plug right here. What this is designed to do is when you hit this brake, it'll prevent you from accelerating. So if you hit the gas and the brake at the same time, it, the accelerator won't work, just the brake will work. Uh, and that's all it does. Now, my question in my head is if I plug this into one of the plugs here that actually says brake on it, if I plug that into there and then plug something into the indicator light, does that mean when this is pushed, I can get a little red LED light mounted in the back and have a little brake light too. I don't know. I got to figure that out. So right there, there's the throttle plug-in. That's where the throttle's at right there. Direct fit. That was nice. Uh, this kit was 130 bucks. Came with this this motor here. Okay. Came with that motor. Came with these both these grips. Not the brake. The brake is stock. The grip, the accelerator over there, and the uh, key that I'll show you in a minute. Uh, key with the ignition and the actual electronic control box right here that I have hidden. Wow. Alexa, that only took you three months, but that's okay. Moving on. Anyway, so this is what I got so far. I will show you guys that it works, and I will also show you... Um, how to turn it on. And this was kind of my idea because I was like, I don't want to just leave it running. So what I did is this comes with the scooter guy or the scooter, the motor too. If you, if you order the motor, this is what comes with it. A key, two of them. Tell me that's not legit. And you just do this, pull the seat up, right? Hey, hey ignition, look at that. That's exactly what I did. I drill the hole, put in the ignition, turn it on. You can hear a click. Listen for it. That means it is on, ready to roll. If you have this, just so you guys know, if you're building one, and you turn this and you don't hear a click, it's not on. There is not a connection. Something is missing. So if you turn this and you hear a click, the thing is ready to roll. And holy crap, my daughter almost crashed on the first one because she thought it was like her old one. So she full goosed it. She almost, she did a wheelie. Like the front tire actually left the ground. So let me tell you guys, this motor is super strong. Super strong. 
okay? Just be careful because this is 48 volts. Um, you guys have seen videos on YouTube with kids doing it with dirt bikes and stuff like that. Well, this is on the road, and this is weighs a lot less because it's just a little scooter. Just, just be careful. So let's turn it on. You can hear the click. There we go. And then I shut it. And then, now watch. I'm not going to hit full gas, but I'm just going to give it a little bit of throttle. Just a tiny bit. You see that? Old Razor was just full or nothing. And then just a little bit more. A little bit more. And we're going to go full on blow. Now watch. Sprocket stops spinning. Tire does not. Kind of like if you're in a car and you're driving down the road, you let off the gas, car still goes. Gear's not going to hold it down. Okay? Holy crap, that was fast. Yes, that was fast. 48 volts, guys. Okay? This is just my... You can weld on some better foot pegs if you want to, which I probably will down the road. This was just to... Because I, I can't rest my feet on this thing. I tried. My knees touched the handlebars. My daughter, kind of the same deal. Uh, so just you, I just used the foot pegs. You could actually put foot pegs like I did with the pit bike. Like in actual Harley Davidson foot pegs, I mean, like if you really want to get there and do that, you can just drill a hole and, and mount it in there. Um, but you don't you don't have to if you don't want to. So I just I put mine on normal. So anyway, guys, I wanted to show you what I got so far and uh, what I've done. This is a forty eight volt thousand watt motor scooter. Definitely able to hold an adult. Trust me, my fat ass can ride it, and it hauls ass down the road, and it still still can go pretty fast. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them below. You know I answer you. Um, I'll probably put a little bit more on this thing. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do next. Um, I do know that the charging port doesn't isn't going to work. I don't have a 48-volt charger. So what I'm probably going to do is have to remove each battery individually and just put it on a 12 volt charger and charge it up because I have four extra batteries this exact size that I can use. So if you got, like I said, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And then I will see you guys in the next video. This is Mark from Cossack Customs. Peace. All right. Here's a video of my daughter riding it. I told her to go full speed. I told you guys she was a little scared, but she should be going full speed now. Yeah, that thing moves pretty good. Like I said, I rode it and it and it moved pretty good. Oh yeah. Not bad on the foot pegs too. Yeah. Let me know if you guys got any comments or questions or anything.